الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. This lecture is by Professor Mahmoud Hani Suleiman, Professor in Community Medicine and Industrial Medicine Department at Azhar University, Cairo. Today we will talk about COVID-19. Background: COVID-19 or SARS. COV2 is a potentially severe acute respiratory infection and syndrome virus identified as an outbreak of pneumonia of unknown cause in Wuhan city, China in December 2019. Disease declared as a public health emergency of international concern by WHO as a global pandemic. COVID-19 is a highly infectious virus with ability of human-to-human -human transmission. COVID-19 now spread to 196 countries when this uh, lecture was written. Mortality rate is low range, uh, ranges from, uh, the mortality rate range from 1.2 to 14%, depending on age, health status, immunity, diabetes, and past disease. Preventive measures as social distancing and hygiene is top priority to secure self from COVID-19 infection. This is where it is distributed. It is almost all the world. Major pandemic outbreaks in the history of mankind. This occurred, this 11 uh, pandemics, uh, plague, bubonic plague, bubonic plague, great plague of Marsilia, cholera, Russian flu, Spanish flu, Asian flu, Hong Kong flu, AIDS, and SARS CoV. These are epidemics of the 21st century SARS, Zimbabwean cholera, flu. Af West Africa meningitis, hiatus and cholera, dengue fever outbreak, MERS, Ebola, Zika, Yemen cholera, Nipah, COVID-19, which affected millions of people and uh, more than 2.5 million died. Severe acute respiratory syndrome Coronavirus 2 or SARS-CoV-2, first isolated from three people with pneumonia connected to cluster in Wuhan. All features of novel SARS-CoV-2 virus occur in related coronavirus in nature. Outside human virus uh, killed by uh, household soap, which bursts its protective wall. SARS-CoV-2 or uh, COVID-19 is closely related to original SARS-CoV-2. It is thought to have a zoonotic origin. Comparison with epidemiological characteristics of recent global epidemics as March 21, 2020. I uh, emphasize here on the case fatality rate of COVID-19 is 4.2 Influenza not applicable, Ebola 39%, H1N1 0.1, SARS 2003 almost 10. So it is moderate case fatality rate. The case fatality rate is not the main danger of this pandemic, but it's a, a quick. Uh, this uh, transmission is the uh, case. Why? When many are affected, there is a small percent which will need uh, ventilation and ICU. So they will uh, overwhelm the hospital services and medical services. So the uh, normal, the so-called normal, uh, flow of hospitals is affected. They cannot deal with uh, surgery, uh, ENT, uh, gyna, obstetrics, and so on. 
so this is the case it is not the fatality rate it is the occupancy bed rate of uh, patients with this uh, pandemic disease this is the uh, Tarkib uh, uh, coronavirus there is look at the R there is spike glycoprotein S A protein membrane protein M this is the RNA, RNA genome and this is the envelope this is a sketch it is very simple infected patients present with mild upper respiratory tract infection which may lead to severe viral pneumonia it may lead to acute respiratory distress syndrome that is potentially fatal it is believed it was transmitted from bats to men transmission humans catch covid-19 from humans with virus it spreads from person to person by small droplets from nose or mouth expelled when infected persons coughs sneeze or speaks loudly droplets are heavy do not travel far and sink to ground people catch covid-19 if they breathe these droplets so it is important to stay at least two meters from others droplets land on objects and surfaces as tables doorknobs etc man infected by when touching objects then touching eyes nose or mouth so it is important to wash hands regularly with soap and water or clean with alcohol based hand rub there is query fecal oral transmission of covid-19 this is the coronavirus causing infection in humans as you see this organism 2229e nl63 oc43 hku1 mers sars covid19 these are the coronaviruses which and ibv this is are the coronaviruses which may infect men Common cold and the flu can caused by this one, two, three, and four. This is common cold and flu. Indeed, one third of the common uh, cold is due to these organisms. Common cold, and the other two we, mainly due to rhinovirus, which we will discuss later. MERS can cause flu, severe respiratory syndrome, pneumonia, SARS, fever, cough, severe acute respiratory syndrome, bronchitis, this pneumonia, this bronchitis. COVID-19, severe acute respiratory syndrome, fever, dry, cough, kidney failure, high transmission between person to person. This is the, the, the main drawback of this organism of COVID-19, high transmission between person to person IBV can cause respiratory disease total this is more than 2.5 million affected about all countries transmission pattern from animal to human then from human to human so uh, COVID-19 intermediary host Malayan pangolin natural reservoir bat began in Wuhan city confirmed cases millions total this is more than 2.5 millions affected about all countries please print this and study another comparisons of the three uh, diseases COVID-19 MERS and SARS as regard symptoms fever dry cough dyspnea diarrhea sore throat ventilatory support the main emphasize here on COVID-19 98% have fever 76% have dry cough 
55% have dyspnea, diarrhea 3%, sore throat nothing, ventilatory support needed in this about 10%. Uh, this is the main uh, drawback of this disease. Please print it and study. Prevention. Introduction. Numerous viruses have existed in nature for years without affecting humans. Their presence in other animals and humans is consequence of man-made activities. So, best way to keep them away, to, be, to keep these viruses away from humans is to keep a barrier between their natural reservoir and the human. Keep a barrier a barrier between their natural reservoir and the human. Very easy. Till now, prevention will rely on vaccine and general measures. Vaccine which is only licensed experimentally, temporarily, emergency, and general measures. What are the general measures? You, you must know them very well because it, uh, COVID-19 may affect you, any healthcare workers, namely health promotion, good nutrition, avoiding exposure to virus sources, sanitary ventilation, sanitary disposal of garbage, waste, and uh, the sanitary disposal of garbage and waste, health education, even anti-stress measures in order to raise non-specific immunity. Again, health promotion, good nutrition, avoiding exposure to virus sources, sanitary ventilation, sanitary disposal of garbage and sanitary disposal of waste, health education, even anti-stress measures in order to raise non-specific immunity. We'll discuss uh, most of them. And we discussed all of them in general epidemiology. Inside the hospital, personal protective equipment for healthcare workers, isolation room for patient and hand wash. Again, inside the hospitals, very important. Personal protective equipment for healthcare workers, isolation room for patient and hand washing. Potential risk factors which can be a target for preventive intervention. The risk may be predisposing factor, precipitating factor, or maintaining factors. Predisposing low immunity, malnutrition, medical or uh, comorbidity, poor hygiene. Low immunity, malnutrition, medical comorbidity, poor hygiene. These can be preventive measures to uh, avoid them. Dietary supplementation, adequate treatment of medical comorbidity, hygiene. General. Precipitating factors, contact with infected persons, contaminated surfaces and objects. This may be precipitating factors. Contact with infected persons, contaminated surfaces and objects. We can prevent their effect by social distancing, one meter at least, restricting play, tour, travel, picnic, and etc. Proper sanitation. Again, proper sanitation, restrict activities, social distancing. The third maintaining factors are low immunity, malnutrition, medical comorbidity, poor hygiene. Low immunity, malnutrition, medical comorbidity, poor hygiene. We can prevent them by dietary supplementation, adequate treatment of medical comorbidity, hygiene early, hygiene which is uh, general measures. We just said, uh, 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 talked about them. Early identification, isolation, and proper treatment of cases. So please bring this table and put it at your clinic or hospital. Prevention among children and adolescents. Children and adolescents with coronavirus infection have milder symptoms, compromised immune function, malnutrition, comorbid medical illness, and poor hygiene are the risk factors. So, they can be, uh, we can protect our, uh, these uh, children and adolescents by social distancing, limiting group activities, limiting playtime, limiting tours, limiting picnics, and adequate hygiene training. We just mentioned them in the previous table.
Preventive measures to decrease, ch to decrease chances of infection include staying at home. Please, if you, it is not uh, obligatory to go outside, stay at home. Avoiding crowding, crowded places. Keeping distance from others. Washing hands with soap and water often and for at least 20 seconds. And avoiding touching eyes, nose or mouth with unwashed hands. Here we want to give uh, some exceptions which, which is uh, used mainly in this disease. Quarantine is the restricting activities for separating people who are not ill but exposed to COVID-19. Goal is to prevent spread of disease at time when people just develop symptoms. Isolation, separating ill people with symptoms of COVID-19 and may be infectious to prevent spread of disease. Physical distancing, being physically apart, away. This is a general measure that all should take, even they are well and no, with no known exposure to COVID-19. Physical distance. All must take, all must do it. This is slide and the coming one are for health education for a suspect patient and their contact, his contact. If you came in close contact with COVID-19 case, you may be infected. Close contact equal. You live with or where less than one meter from a diseased person, so it is best to stay at home. If you become ill, even with mild symptoms, you must self-isolate. Even if you think you were not exposed to COVID-19 but develop symptoms, then self-isolate and monitor yourself by temperature. You are more likely to infect others in early stages of disease when you have mild symptoms. So early self-isolation is very important. If you do not have symptoms but exposed to lab confirmed infected person, self-quarantine for 14 days. If you have uh, COVID-19 confirmed by lab, self-isolate for 14 days and even after symptoms disappear as a precautionary measure. Why? because it is not yet known exactly how long people remain infectious after they have recovered. Follow national advice on self-isolation, please. Where we can do case, uh, uh, we, when, where we can case uh, self-isolation. In case of self-isolation, where we can do self-isolation. Large room, well ventilated, and with hand hygiene with uh, toilet if not possible place beds at least one meter apart keep at least one meter from others even from own family members monitor symptoms daily by temperature and what is present and what is absent what is present or absent if develop difficulty breathing contact your health care provider immediately patients stay positive energized by keeping in touch with loved ones by phone or online and by exercising at home now came into work uh, the vaccine who what is the priority of giving vaccine healthcare workers and community among healthcare workers those for isolation icu and isolation hospitals those who are diseased but like diabetes, uh, uh, COD, COPD and others. Diseased, chronic disease, renal, renal hepatic and so on. Community chronic lung disease, those are more than 65 years, chronic kidney disease. Infection control inside hospitals for COVID-19. These preventive measures is very important. Please, please, if you are a healthcare worker, print these slides, keep, keep them in your clinic or hospital and experience them very carefully. Do them very carefully. They are very important for your health. Indeed, the large percent of healthcare workers who develop the disease or die from it uh, 
primarily due to uh, the, they are not strictly adhere to this uh, infection control. Please type these slides, print these slides, and experience them strict to them, adhere to them strictly. Healthcare workers should perform hand hygiene when, before and after all patient contact, contact with potential infectious material, and before putting on and after removing personal protective equipment, including gloves. Hand hygiene after removing uh, PPE is particularly important to remove any pathogens transferred to bare hands during the removal process. Healthcare workers should perform hand hygiene by using uh, 60 to 95 percent alcohol or washing hands soap and water for at least 20 seconds if hands are visibly soiled use soap and water before returning personal protective equipment every healthcare worker should know when to use what ppe necessary how properly use how to properly dispose and limitation of personal protective equipment. When, what, how, how, and limitations. This is important. Mask protection efficiency. The best is 95 uh, N95. N95. And here is the uh, protection of each of them. Please print and experience. PPD is used by healthcare workers for attending general and high risk patients of COVID. Yep. What is in the middle? What is for general patients? What is for high risk patients? And here is the disposable wear protective measures. Yep. General patients and high risk patients. Please as, uh, print it and keep it at your uh, clinic or hospital and experience it. Preferred personal protective equipment used for, uh, for uh, COVID-19. Please print, keep it at your clinic or hospital and uh, put it in the wall of your clinic and the hospital. Again, personal protective equipment, N95 respirator or higher level respirator, and when to use them, please print and study and keep it in your clinic or hospital and uh, be strict with these uh, rules. Eye protection, print and use. Gloves, print and use. Gowns, print and use. Patient placement, where to put the patient, put in your hospital and use. What to do with gowns? What to do with aerosol generating procedures? Here is a table to summarize what we said at the triage for the patient infection control policies and procedures. Print and put on the wall of your clinic and hospital. Clinical picture of COVID-19. About 80% present with mild illness, 15% with severe illness, 5 critical illness, and these are the main issue in this disease. These need hospitalization. So, uh, the hospitals will be overwhelmed for these patients and 
the hospital cannot take care of other diseases. This is the problem. The disease itself is mild, but this is the problem. The 5%, these are the problem. Severity associated with older age chronic disease. Common symptoms, fever, loss of appetite, fatigue, loss of smell, shortness of breath, cough, coughing up sputum, muscle aches, and pain. In severe disease, difficulty waking, confusion, bluish face or lips, coughing up blood, persistent chest pain, decreased white blood cells, kidney failure, high fever. These are the common symptoms. Fever in uh, mo most of the patients may not be present in children. Chills and rigors may be present. Course of fever is not fully understood. Cough may reach all the patients. Usually dry, dyspnea, 55%. Starts after onset of symptoms, 5 to 8 days. Other symptoms, fatigue, myalgia, anorexia, sputum production, sore throat, and abs, like diarrhea. What to ask a patient you are suspecting? Have you fever? Yes. Are you experiencing shortness of breath? Yes. You may have COVID-19. Ask about other symptoms, cough, fatigue, weakness, exhaustion. Fever, yes. Shortness of breath, no. You may have a flu, cough, fatigue, weakness, exhaustion. Fever, no. Itchy eyes, yes, you may have allergy. Ask about sneezing and running nose. Fever, no. Itchy, no. You may have a common cold, other symptoms. Sneezing, runny nose, mild chest, or discomfort. This is easy chart to diagnose COVID-19 and differentiate it from other diseases. If there are carriers, may be asymptomatic, non-specific tests. If positive PCR, may be done to confirm COVID-19 infection. Testing for COVID-19 lab, a specific confirmatory PCR, nasopharyngeal swab. If positive, uh, he, he may be infected by COVID-19. If negative, he is not. Non-specific detect, but not confirm. CBC containing lymphopenia, monocyto, monocytosis, leukopenia, eosinophil cytopenia, hemoglobinemia. Revenge is transcription polymerase chain reaction, PCR, from sputum or nasopharyngeal sweat. This is how to take the nasopharyngeal sweat. Serology test. Four approved, four tests approved for diagnosis. Rapid diagnostic test, ELISA. Uh, rapid test had a specificity of 95%. Good, and uh, specificity and sensitivity of 93%. Good. Part of immune response to infection is production of IgM, IgG, IgM detectable in blood several days after initial infection. IgG uh, detectable in two weeks. Antibodies used equal to percent of population contracting disease and immunity. So it is presumed once infected, the chance of getting second infection uh, during three months later is low. But how long immunity will last? Not known till now. Not known till now. Indeed, some contracted the disease twice in six months. Chest CT of COVID-19, common findings, ground glass appearance, involvement of multiple lobes, subpleural peripheral distribution. Less common findings, consolidation, septal thickenings, bronchial dilation, and wall thickening. This is 
the chest CT and this is the so-called ground glass appearance or opacities. Again, ground glass opacities and uh, in the lower subfloor or peripheral distribution of the ground glass opacity. Again, typical subfloral peripheral opacities, but better to use CT. Early typical ground glass opacity. These are listed drugs that have antiviral activity compounds against COVID-19. Favipiravar, ribavirin, and so on. So on. Seltamivar, host-based treatment approach, recombinant interferon, chloroquine, metazoxamide. Each hospital must put protocol for treatment of cases admitted for COVID-19. Here is those for كسرلين هوسبيتال وفي النهاية لا أجد إلا أن أقول الحمد لله رب العالمين وثانك يو